Well, my friends, it's happening. Women everywhere are going on a nationwide sex strike in protest to the Supreme Court ruling overturning Roe v. Wade. As many of these left-wing liberals absolutely have meltdowns. Hey guys, gals, and pals, Mr. Obvious here. And today, we're gonna be talking about women going on sex strike, as well as some of the insane reactions and total meltdowns to Roe v. Wade and many of the protests that are currently going on right now. You've already got Democratic governors like Tony Evers vowing they will grant clemency for doctors who are charged for performing abortion, with many Democrat officials basically saying they refuse to listen to the Supreme Court and vow to fight back. And in other news, more than one million voters alone have switched to the GOP in the last year. The tides are turning against the Democrats. But we're gonna talk about all that, folks, and more, but before we do, remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for updates for future content, and if you like content like this, please share it with your family and friends and online. And now a word from our sponsor. Introducing Webull. Webull is a trading app where you can buy and sell stocks and cryptocurrency. Open a Webull account today and deposit any amount of money, even $1, and you could get up to six free stocks worth up to $9,000. My friends, it's basically free money. So download the app, install Webull, deposit a few bucks, and you're gonna get those free stocks, my friends. Join Webull today by clicking the affiliate link down below. And we're back. All right, let's jump right in, folks. Here we are on the Daily Mail. Women go on a nationwide sex strike in protests as pro-marches continue across America and protesters riot in Portland. Here the story says, women are threatening not to have sex with men in protests of the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Based in red pill. Protests erupted on Friday, following the court's ruling to overturn women's federal right to abortions, with 26 states expected to further restrict or outright ban abortion. Uh, women are being called to withhold sex from men until abortion rights are federal law. I gotta say, folks, I find this absolutely hilarious. The fact that there's women out there who actually believe that conservatives will be angry, that women are gonna start um, having less sex, being conservative, closing their legs, is absolutely hilarious. I can't help but be reminded of that meme with the NPC and the Chad. What? You wanna overturn Roe v. Wade? Well, guess what? I'm not gonna have casual sex with lots of strange men anymore. And then the Chad goes up to the NPC and says, your terms are acceptable. Here we are on Twitter with George Alexopoulos. He says, quote, women need to go on a sex strike. George says, what's next? They're gonna stop partying? They're gonna start wearing dresses? Cooking? Cleaning? Raising children again? The madness. Where does the madness end? <laughs> <laughs> this is what's so funny about this, folks. It's like, I think you will find that most conservatives find your terms acceptable. In fact, the entire argument on the conservative side is this. Women are having too much casual, unsafe sex. They're not using contraceptives. They're not using condoms. They're not using birth control. They're not using UIDs implants that prevent women from getting pregnant, there's hormone rings, there's a morning after pill, there's spermicide, the list never ends. You got people like Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez saying, forced pregnancy is a crime against humanity. And of course you've got people like Count Dankula dabbing on her saying, then don't get pregnant. How dare you tell her to be responsible? It reminds me a lot of that meme. It's like a female doge meme with, uh, you know, the colorful hair. You don't understand. I need to have unprotected sex with strangers. So speaking of the Supreme Court and the things it's been doing, in a recent decision, the Supreme Court ruled six to three 
that a football coach was allowed to pray by himself after a football game. Of course, you had a lot of left-wing activists come out and lie. Here we are on Twitter with no lie. Irony with Brian Tyler Cohen. And honestly, I really hate that he calls his show No Lie because this is literally what he does. Okay, so here he says, the Supreme Court just ruled six to three that public school teachers and other staff can now lead students in prayer, significantly undermining the separation of church and state and overturning decades of established procedure. He wasn't the only one who said this. Vosh, for example, put out a tweet saying, I can't believe the Supreme Court just said that school te uh, like Christian teachers can force students to pray with them. There was a lot of other left-wing prominent social media people who said the same thing. Here's a problem. It's not true at all. In fact, No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen gets fact-checked by Twitter. Here it says, the court decided a public school football coach could pray by himself on the football field after the game, after players have left the field, as protected by the First Amendment. It does not allow public school staff to lead prayer in the classroom. <laughs> Hands down, they're just lying. Like straight up, this is a lie. This tweet is fake news, it's false information. Twitter did not take it down because of course, they never ever punish left-wingers. Speaking of the lies of the Democrats, Another big lie has been exposed here on the Daily Mail in exclusive. I think you're in the clear. A voicemail from Joe Biden to Hunter Biden proves he did speak to his son about shady and criminal deals in China. So here the story says, President Joe Biden spoke with Hunter about his business dealings with a Chinese criminal, his son dubbed the spy chief of China, a voicemail to his son reveals. The president has repeatedly denied personally and through his press secretary that he ever talked about Hunter's foreign business dealings with Hunter, despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary. Now in a voicemail left on Hunter's iPhone, the evidence has come from the president's own mouth. Well, there you have it. Joe Biden knew all about Hunter Biden's dirty, dirty dealings with the Chinese. Now, let me remind you that it was already proven through the Ukraine leaks that Joe Biden and Hunter Biden shared a bank account. In other words, the money that Hunter Biden was obtaining, acquiring, was all available to Joe Biden. That means that Hunter Biden's corruption is undoubtedly connected to Joe Biden's corruption. So they were able to uncover this voicemail from a backup of Hunter's iPhone XS stored on his abandoned laptop. Now this isn't the only thing that's recently been revealed. Washington Examiner recently put out a report that exposes that Joe Biden basically paid for Hunter Biden's escorts. Here on Twitter with Andrew Kerr. Breaking, Joe Biden unwittingly press X to doubt financed Hunter Biden's participation in an escort ring tied to Russia. The story goes that Joe Biden wired $100,000 to Hunter from 2018 to 2019. In the same time, uh, Hunter Biden spent all that money on hookers. But you know, the more that comes out about Joe Biden, the Biden family and their corruption, the worst and worst it seems. It's really disturbing and it shows you just the kind of man that Biden really is. But that brings us to the last story of the day. Here on the National Review, more than one million voters have switched to the GOP in the past year alone. There's been a lot of talk about the midterms, about a, a possible red wave and about abortion being a big issue that's gonna motivate Democrats to defeat the red wave and defeat the GOP. I don't believe this narrative. I really don't, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. Here, the story says, a political shift is beginning to take hold across the US as tens of thousands of suburban swing voters who helped fuel the Democrat party gains in recent years are becoming Republicans. More than 1 million voters across 43 states have switched to the Republican party over the last year, according to voter registration data analyzed by the Associated Press. The story points out here that nowhere is this shift more pronounced then the suburbs, where well-educated swing voters who turned against Trump have recently begun to swing back. I don't think this is surprising, considering how badly the Democrats have done running the country, $5 gas, massive inflation, shortages, the country is falling apart, and uh, we're basically 
going straight first, head down into a recession. Then you have wonderful tweets like this. Here on Twitter, Ladybird says, my husband and I will be leaving Texas after the midterms. Any suggestions on a good place to live within the US? We are looking for a place of tolerance, civility, and decency. You have a lot of Democrats saying they're gonna run away from red states where abortion is gonna be um, restricted or made illegal. This lady here is going to leave Texas. Okay, well, go back to California. That's what I say. Good riddance. If you wanna have as many abortions as you want, and you wanna live in some Democrat liberal utopia, go to California. And it's so hilarious because most of these people ran away from California because California is a shithole. No offense, I've lived there before and it is dirty, it is full of crime, it is broke, it is just, it's just poverty. It's like a third world country at this point because of the Democrats. They destroyed California. So you know what, if you're pro-abortion, then leave. Go to California, go to your liberal utopia, and guess what? Red states are gonna get stronger, they're gonna have less Democrats stifling the vote, and swing states might start turning red, red, red. Congratulations, Democrats. You played yourself. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Let me know by commenting down below in the comment section. As always, support the channel by joining me on Patreon or Subscribestar, as this channel is currently supported by viewers like you. Links are down below in the description. Anyways, be sure to check out that Webull affiliate. Again, all you have to do is open an account, deposit some bucks, doesn't even have to be a lot, and you're gonna get up to six free stocks worth anywhere from like 60 bucks to $9,000, free money. Anyways, thanks for watching, folks. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you all next time. I, I do not view abortion as a, uh, um, as a choice and a right. I think it's always a tragedy. And I think that uh, it should be uh, rare and safe. And I think we should be focusing on how to limit the number of abortions. And they ought to be able to have a common ground and consensus as to do that. <laughs>